If you're looking for the best pellet gun here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Gamo Varmint. This is, is the pellet gun I recommend for those of you on a $100 budget. With a max velocity of around 1,000 feet per second and usable 4x32 scope, the Gamo Varmint is the ultimate budget varmint control, hunting, and targeting shooting air rifle. With a price tag of around $100, it is arguably the best pellet gun for the money on this entire list. It has a simple single-barrel brake cocking mechanism that requires about 30 pounds of force, so if you're buying this for young kids, just know that it may be a little difficult for them to cock. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Crossman Pneumatic Pump Air Rifle. This is among the cheapest options you'll find among the web that are incredibly low-priced, but still worth purchasing. Under $50 won't get you much in the aspect of the rest of the market however, $50 does go a long way with this particular rifle. Offering up to 650 frames per second and a large BB capacity, this is a top choice for parents to gift to the youngins as their first gun. It's powerful enough to punch holes in soda cans, but it certainly won't do much damage to property or people, and only has a range of roughly 15 yards. The variable pump design is easy for anyone to use and requires 3 to 10 strokes to build up a reservoir of compressed air. The number 3 position is held by Crossman 1322 Air Pistol Premier Shooters Kit. I wasn't planning to add air pistols to the list however, the Crossman Multipump 1322 Air Pistol includes a stock essentially creating the look and feel of a short-barreled rifle SBR. I would go out on a limb to say that more air pistols are only effectively used when target practicing however, this pistol is another story. You can easily pop varmints and take out pests with this thing as it's surprisingly powerful and accurate, even up to 20 yards. It's a .22 caliber kit that shoots roughly 500 frames per second. It certainly isn't as powerful as the other rifles on the list however, this is a fantastic little starting kit for a young kid and something a little different than a traditional air rifle. Next at number 4 we have Ruger Blackhawk Combo. The Ruger Blackhawk is exactly what I think about when I hear pellet gun. It's a traditional black hunting rifle design that includes its own set of fiber optic sights and a cheap add-on scope. Honestly, I'd probably opt for a bit better scope when buying this rifle, but that's about the only gripe I have when it comes to this product. The Blackhawk is comfortable and precise. The pumping mechanism can be a bit tough near pump 9 and 10, but that's to be expected on a pellet gun capable of 1000 plus FPS. Overall, if you're looking for a barebone getter done pellet rifle, the Ruger Blackhawk is an easy go-to. Whether you're plinking, hunting, or both, this .177 pneumatic pump hunting style air rifle is perfect for just about anybody. The number 5 position is held by Raptor Whisper Air Rifle. This brake barrel Raptor Whisper which is available in either .177 or .22 cal is certainly no toy. The air rifle they've created is a precise varmint slaying machine and comes with a bunch of goodies you wouldn't expect to find on air rifles. First, the sound dampening features they've added seem to work well. This rifle certainly isn't silent by any stretch of the imagination, but as far as powerful air rifles go, it is likely the quietest option on this list. It's also incredibly lightweight and comes with a recoil pad, which I'm not entirely sure is totally necessary, but it's probably a pretty cool addition for a young marksman. Make no mistake however, that this gun is to be treated as a full-blown firearm. It'll take down full-grown coyotes with ease and is not to be misused or left alone in the hands of a junior shooter. The scope it comes with, like most add-on scopes, is adequate, so you should likely order a higher quality one when buying this rifle. Overall, it looks good. It feels good. It shoots good. It's a good air rifle. You won't regret it if you buy one. The number 6 position is dominated by Sig Sauer MCX. 
If you're a frequent visitor of this website, you already know Sig Sauer is one of my favorite brands. They're known for making high-quality products that are trusted by police, military, and citizens alike. They make some awesome CO2-powered replica pellet guns that are a ton of fun to shoot. They actually make two semi-automatic pellet guns that are surprisingly accurate. The first rifle we will discuss here is a replica of the SIG MCX rifle. It has an 1.8 rifled barrel that makes it surprisingly accurate for a CO2-powered pellet gun, but still, I feel this is more of a plinking rifle than it is for hunting. It is marketed as shooting up to 700 frames per second, and while I have never put a chronograph to it, from the tests I've seen, the velocity is realistically more like 500 frames per second. Don't let that dampen your spirits, though, this thing is a ton of fun and a backyard plinking dream. Moving on to the next at number 7 with SIG MPX. We already talked about the other SIG air rifle, but I wanted to cover this one too. It's a little smaller, and while I think the MCX looks cooler, this one is a little easier to handle if you're buying this as a gift for a kid. It has an 8-inch steel rifled barrel, and while it's rated at a max velocity of 575 frames per second, 125 frames per second less than the MCX, it's just fine for plinking, and you hardly notice the difference. It comes stock with folding iron sights, but it does have a Picatinny rail system for add-ons and accessories. The bottom line is this is a really cool-looking pellet gun that's a ton of fun to shoot. It's certainly not suitable for most types of hunting. If you're looking for a powerful pellet gun for hunting, there are much better options for you on this list. Pellet guns in this category are likely the perfect mix between performance and economy. Most people likely won't need anything above the $200 to fit their needs. The number 8 position is held by RWS Model 34.22 caliber. It's funny that even though this rifle includes a scope, in the listing you can find their recommendations for scopes. Even they know that the scope on its subpar. Aside from that, this German-made beauty is a thing of awe in the world of pellet guns. It really has that full-blown rifle feel, and it maintains an awe-inspiring hardwood finish. This pellet gun has much to offer past just its stunning appearances, though, but only boasts a rating of 800 frames per second, 1000 frames per second.177. What gives, you might ask, as there are cheaper and more powerful rifles on this list? Well, without creating my own untested and unresearched conspiracy theory, let me just say that this rifle is certainly not any less powerful than the rifles listed before it on this list. When I shot this rifle I was stunned at how hard the pellets hit their target. This air rifle is completely capable of hunting most any small game and will do some serious damage to anything it is shot at. Not only is this an amazing air rifle, but it's also just an amazing rifle in general. It's classy, it's well-built, and it is plenty powerful. If you have the extra coin to spend, this is a worthy upgrade from our first category of reviewed air guns. Next at number 9 we have Villano Navigator Inflatable SUP Board Package. If you love doing paddle boarding, there is no need to restrict yourself from dealing with traditional, stiff SUPs. It comes with a 6 inches thickness and considered as a new entry in this market. It is also a package deal, considering the features and the accessories that are included with it. On top of the board, you can also get a three-piece aluminum paddle, a removable fin, a pump, as well as a backpack carry bag. It also comes with a bungee cord and a D-rings that can secure your gear or even attach to a kayak seat. The only real con I see about this air rifle is if you're not a fan of iron sights you'll have to buy an additional scope and scope mount. Finally the number 10 position is dominated by Crossman Challenger PCP air rifle. I never tested this air rifle, but Corporal Goins recommended this rifle in his PCP air rifle review, and after reading other positive I had to add it to the list. Corporal Goins worked in the air gun industry for years, so I definitely trust his advice. To quote Corporal Goins accuracy is exceptional with the Challenger as it sports a match Lothar Walther barrel and a fully adjustable trigger. This rifle is actually used and approved by the Civilian Marksmanship Program for three-position air rifle shooting competitions. 
Corporal Goins also said, the Challenger only needs to be charged to 2,000 PSI and gets around 70 shots before needing a refill. The bottom line is this seems like a sold air rifle. I haven't personally tried it, but I wanted to add it to the list for those of you considering a PCP air rifle. That's all for today. We upload outdoor product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.